and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for part three of our sub battle stream. Hope you checked out parts one and two. We're going to be finishing up here with part three. This is myself against team chat. This is what we do each and every month, the last Saturday of the month. I play against the uh, subscribers and we have a lot of fun with it to figure out what deck that I'm playing each time I have this wheel to spin will decide for me thank you so i'm playing a different deck every single round and team chat brings their different decks as well and we have some fun with it i'm gonna be playing some mardu enchantments that's what i'm gonna be doing here all right so we already picked who's gonna be the next person to battle oh i did not reset arena though whoops i meant to reset arena before it's just good those y'all watch it on youtube if you don't know if you, if you notice that arena gets slower over time it does it just kind of leaks memory that's that's just something that happens and it's good every couple hours um you know i have a i i like doing it like every two hours but and i have a real nice new computer as y'all know so for you you may even need to be doing it like every hour or so and that should help with um any kind of lag issues that you, that you may have well It'll help a little bit, but it's not going to solve every solve everything. Anyway, uh, the deck that I just spun was a deck that I certainly remember now. Oh yeah, Mardu Enchantments. No, where's Mardu Enchantments? Here we go. What does this deck look like? Ooh, we're going Doom Foretold, Outlaws Merriment. We got more styles to apply. I want this wrong cloak giant. Okay. So all you have to so Anatran, so don't change anything except for just the format best of three. Remove the webcam. So it should say challenge match, best of three, coin flip. So I should say. And I'm back. Like magic. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Keep. So I want to <clears throat> want to shock in here to draw because I'm trying to draw lands. Rimrock Knight. Clarion. The Beast. Another Beast. How many beasts will there be? Will there be?
All right, so yeah, it looks stable now. So yeah, if, you, if you're getting a little bit of lag from the, the upload, it looks like it's stable now. So it should, should be good to go. If you need a refresh, refresh. We need a splash blue for Mirror Maid. Is Mirror Maid double blue or is it a single blue? Yeah, double blue. Yeah, it's a tough, tough one to splash. Clarion, I mean the Clarion and the Doom Foretold, those two things were the, the things that really won me that game. So I want the Realm Cloak Giant as another sweeper. I want Noxious Grasps. Um, Prison Realm. Man, I have a lot of things to kill creatures. I don't need Elder Spell. I can trim a Cavalier of Dawn and probably some Theater of Horrors. Probably don't really need Theater of Horrors. Oh <laughs> no. Dang, that is pretty rough there, Hillbilly. So you play arena on your on your laptop through like your your phone carrier because you only have cellular. That does sound pretty rough. Um, this probably should not be a keep. Oh no, no, Anatron, no. Like the two temples like help help me find black mana. No, and uh Anatran did the same thing, meant to mulligan and didn't. You have no lands? Oh man. Alright, Anatran. Um here, let's uh just rechallenge and just concede game one and then go to sideboarding and re sideboard and stuff. We'll play a new one. Does that make sense? Unless you're unless you don't want to. Okay. Just make sure you're on best of three, of course. And then just concede game one, and we'll go to sideboarding. Okay, and then I want Grasp. I was going to take out Elder Spell and Cavalier of Dawn.
No 24 hour stream. We have a 12 hour stream that we're going to be doing, I think Monday. That's the day that I'm planning on doing it is Monday. 12 hour stream Monday. And then I think I'm going to take Tuesday off and not stream Tuesday. I don't know whether to put Liliana or Mary Mint back. Golden Egg can give can fix my mana also. Yeah, then I'll be streaming New Year's Day. This is scary. So my, my plan here to stay alive is to, to crack two golden eggs and go to nine. I take eight. I have to draw Kaya's Wrath. I did not draw Kaya's Wrath. Oh, did I not play Prison Realm? Oh, I guess I had two Prison Realms. I didn't bring the second one in. I'll cut a merriment. Okay, game three. I definitely do not want to crack Golden Egg for red mana for Clarion with having the Doom Foretolds. That was very good draw for me. Another Golden Egg and a Guild Globe like that. <clears throat> Those definitely helped my Doom Foretolds. Oh. 
doing edge wall innkeeper stuff. Um, actually, let's undo. Rewarded. It's gonna be tough for Anatran to win it from here. Yeah, this is this is just lined up very well for me with, with drawing the extra eggs and everything. That Clarion turn. All right, there we go. At least we got to finish out games two and three and got to play some real games. So, GG's there, Anatran. All right, well, let's keep this going. We got about an hour, 40 minutes left, so let's let's keep this going quickly. There you go, good games, Anatran. We got to play some real games there. That was good. Ugh, I, like, slept on my shoulder wrong or something. It's been bothering me. All right, so yeah, if you're a subscriber, you want to play up next, type battle into the chat. No, that's, Duel, the reason why I don't want to play Doom Foretold instead of Kaya's Wrath to get rid of Brontodon is because if I play Doom Foretold, then they just, uh, they can sacrifice the Brontodon and, and destroy the Doom Foretold. Um, like whenever they untap. I just didn't want that happening. I didn't want my Doom Foretold getting destroyed. You still get Yeah, I guess I guess you still would then. Yeah, you, yeah. I was, I guess I I didn't really, yeah. So then they would they could blow up. Did I just have one artifact in play? They could blow up like one of the other artifacts and then no, cuz then you'd still sacrifice Doom Foretold. So yeah, I guess I guess it would have worked. All right, anyway. I guess I wasn't exactly sure about that. Vitellius. Vitellius, you are going to be the next person to battle. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, so I could have I could have done that. I guess I was a little scared and that's why I didn't. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just spinning the wheel, seeing what I get. Jessica mid-range. All right, so I'm gonna be playing Jessica mid-range. That's this deck here. It's pretty crazy. It's got a lot of different random cards, but it's pretty sweet. All 
All right, new match. Yeah, all of these decks that I've played before, a couple of things. You can find them on Stream Decker there, but it's kind of hard to like look up the decks on Stream Decker. I've played all these decks on, on the YouTube channel, and so if you're... That's the YouTube channel there. Um, but if there's... Whatever deck we're playing, if you search the deck name, like type the deck name, then type Todd Stevens, and you can probably find it on YouTube as well. I'm going to keep this because we have Temple of Epiphany. Just need a white mana. Yeah, they do Rowl. Um, refresh your stream Rowl, and then it should say like where chat is. It should say ask you to send your notification. And then whenever you do that, it'll, it'll trigger. Good thing. I have not found white mana yet, but we got drawn from dreams. Oh, the Kai is such a great way to deal with Bone Crusher Giant. Cavalier of Dawn looks a little silly. There's no Fires of Invention in our deck. Thanks, Ralph. Got rid of a couple of little one ones. <clears throat> Getting rid of them the hard way. There, Ral, Ral got it. Twitch Prime sub in there. That's our seventeenth sub of the day. Thanks for resubbing half a year now. Basically, going to be able to pick up the Charming Prince again. And get the, those things out of here. 
I think Vitalius is looking for <laughs> that card right there. Bola Citadel. This other, the steam vents we put down to the bottom, if that was a white mana source, I would have kept it. Ooh, they did. Ooh, I think Cavalier of Dawn needs to be the take here. Could be another Citadel. It kept something there on top. Is it a counterspell? Because, yeah, Cavalier of Dawn blows up Citadel. Yeah, the way to earn gems is by drafting. You can you can earn gold with your daily and weekly wins and and your all that kind of stuff, and then use the gold to draft to earn gems. Yeah, I, d I didn't have three white mana, but still. The Kenrith doesn't doesn't really do very much where that that thing that other thing blows up um, the citadel. It's good. Yeah, I mean, drafting is a good way to get better at magic, though, also. So if Cavalier of Dies, we Cavalier of Gales dies, we get to shuffle those lands back. Um, if not, I can upkeep scry both of the lands down to the bottom. Okay, if I upkeep scry, I don't get to cast Cavalier. This has been a really good game. Basically waiting for another Citadel to ruin my day. done a good job with our scries <laughs> done a really good job with our scries got five lands down at the bottom
responsibility. This might be a bad idea. Oh, sacrifice two lands. Um, I think I can just draw. Darn. Just cried. That's more like it. This is a really good, really good game, though. Hey, Azrael. Welcome from vacation. All right, my O keeps crying. No. So that's four, five, that's eight. Eight lands at the bottom of the library. We've done a great job scrying. Oh, I should have, I should have dealt the two to Bell Haunt first. Like this turn, I should have dealt two, bounce. Yeah, dealt two, play, bounce, dealt two. Yeah, I should have just killed Bell Haunt here. I should not have done that end step. Bone Crusher Giant, that was bad. I've got it. So now I don't have the mana to do all that. And many things. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. Dang. I've done the hero thing before. Yeah, I didn't play that correctly. All right, now we can do it. Let us plan for the trials ahead. But I took that extra three damage. Which is gonna say if they had removal spell for Bone Crusher Giant and then also Oth then attack for two Othakaya, I could die. of mystery here goes nothing am 
I doing 36 damage? I figured that out yet. <laughs> the phone cars are giants getting dizzy for being down so much. <clears throat> I can see that. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? It's a fairy time twisting. So I do thirty six damage before. <clears throat> Whoa, Gatsby resubmit at tier three on that 13th month streak. Thank you, Gatsby. We like to finish each other. I've got time. It's our storm count up to 18 on the day. Basically, just don't want them to be able to. Uh, you know, blow that thing up. I don't want them to draw to fairy, bounce Othakaya, you know, find another Othakaya, you know, cheese out a win like that. And I'm just going to bounce this 3 3 anyway. Why can't I bounce other people's stuff? All right, why can't I? Sorry, why can't I bounce my own stuff? I need to bounce my own things. Time to start stealing things. Start going after these black sources. Yeah, because then, of course, Vitellius knows about the agent of treachery, can't play. The other card, otherwise, Agent of Treachery steals it. Oh, that was a very good game. I think Vitalius made one huge mistake with the Thought Erasure. They took the Kenrith and not the Cavalier of Dawn, and that Cavalier of Dawn destroying the Bola Citadel is why I was able to win that. Yeah, I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't going to have the Agent of Treachery in play and let myself get milled out. I had the other Teferi that was going to be able to bounce it.
I, mean, I would have had to steal three things first and, and then kept keep Agent of Treachery in play. I, I wasn't going to do that. I was going to make sure not to mill out. Oh, sorry, Vitellius. I just saw that you said that arena crashed for you. There's no time limit with uh, with sideboarding when you're doing just the 1v1s. It's okay. You're good. Don't worry about it. You're good. Yeah, that was that was a really good good game. That was a that was a great really long game that you know, we were both going through so many so much of our library and everything. That was a pretty awesome game. Ooh, Kieran, you're gonna you're gonna give away a sub. All right, uh, if we want to do a sub giveaway, we could do. Um, I don't I don't know how to do this. Boot usually does it, but there's trivia. I don't I don't know how to do this. Okay, so if you're not a sub, what's the casting cost of Gin of Wishes? Do a little trivia here. You have to say the specific. There you go, Corn Lover. Got it right. Yeah, it's just first response wins. Hey, Yud. Your arena's tr your arena's trying. So, so Yud Yud's already a subscriber. Yeah, so corn corn lover, you got one. I'm going. I will keep track. It's just 10, 10 total questions, whoever gets the most. But it's for if you're if you're a sub, you don't need to answer because this is gonna be to to win a, a sub. Kieran said is gonna give Kieran's gonna give one out. Dual 08. Got that one with insect. Of course, if you're watching on, on YouTube, you can click the fast forward 30 second button.
Name the card based on its casting cost set and text. So there's, there's the set. It's from Zendikar, and that's the text. So cost 3B from Zendikar. I can picture that card. I don't remember the name of it. Hagra Enforcer? Maybe? Crocodile. Uh, yeah, I got that one. Crocodile. Yeah, that was real good and limited. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Is it reanimator? Nope. Ah, Belcher. All right, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, that was pretty obscure. Yeah, trivia is always. Y'all can always do trivia while I'm streaming. All right, scrying with Charm and Prince. Lotus Field, I guess. Ego. Could definitely name to fairy. Cavalier of Dawn. Okay. Don't want me blowing up that citadel. This deck list to the stream decker? Yeah, it's it's on there. We haven't played it in a long time. So it's kinda old. Um This isn't a fight you can win. Um we'll just do tick out for now. Let's try this. Actually I should just I should just minus and just bounce nothing. Um I could try to find it. It's just 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 got mid range. Here you go. It's, this is the deck, right? This is the deck in the, the league here playing it. Let's slow this down. Here we go. Well, that didn't pan out. I've got time. Do I want to opt? It's 
So it looks like a oh, corn lover got one again. So corn lover and dual 108 both have two. Correct. Here goes nothing. So corn lover and dual 108 tied. I've got it. Hey, that was uncalled for. Uh, that's nice, you corn lovers. So corn lovers pass it to dual one oh eight. I've done the hero thing before. Can't make another move. Oh, Drug Wizard still gifted one out to Corn Lover also. That's very kind of you, thank you. Don't worry, I got this. So I think my plan right now is just to um, just kind of activate this Castle Ardenvale. Make some 1-1s. One -ones. And there, thank you so much there, Kieran. That was very kind of you to set, set that up. No more games. So that is, that gets us to 20. That gets us to Trust two sub goals. I have a plan. We're two sub goals towards the next 12 hour stream after the one we already have lined up. This might be a bad idea. Keep the land drop. I would have preferred a blue land, but that's fine. Stop that now. Let's try this. Kind of expecting sweeper, so I'm not really playing another threat out here. So yeah, this is just five mana wasted. With Teferi in play, we don't have to worry about instant speed removal. I'll protect you. More to fairies. I can no longer stand by and watch. Probably takes Kenrith because of the haste. So, oh, the Kai is doing a lot of damage to me. Which is good if they do have. Full of Citadel, they like having all that life. I don't think it's really worth it to just kind of do anything else. This time wipe and Clarion are both pretty awkward in hand. No, 
I am not making this up as I go. Past, present, and future. Hone your prowess. Yeah, Othakaya is crushing me. Could have sideboard out a lot of wraths, and maybe, maybe there's just no no wrath to be found over here. I'm already I'm down to eight just because of this other guy. I can use the Clarion for lifelink, if need be. have one uh, white source. Good Fable Passage. Why is Lotus Field in the deck? Just because cause this deck's playing some really difficult mana cards like the white, you know, the, the blue cavalier, white cavalier, stuff like that. Attack. Go, lifelinkers, go. Othakaya really dealt a lot of damage and everything. Get a course bounce Othakaya with the fairy. Trust okay, choosing not to do that. I'm expecting them to bounce Othakaya, to be honest. Must may have. They probably drew something else that cost white mana. No. I am 
enjoy the proper application of knowledge. That's a good draw. Yeah, we got the two other Teferis. We can kind of keep on cycling the Bone Crusher Giants. Well, that was a really good match. That was a really good match. But let's get started with another one here really quick. Yeah, Vitalius, those are some those were some really great games. Alright. So type battle if you want to be the next person <clears throat> to play. We got a little bit less than an hour. So let's let's get this going again. Psychotog. I don't I don't even know what the question is. What? I said so I could talk first. Rigged. Oh, I misspelled it. <laughs> okay, let's let's get going. Who's up next? Duel. Duel one oh eight, you are up. Or it's just duel oh eight? All right, send me that gamer tag duel. That's my gamer tag. Let's spin the wheel. Let's let the wheel decide. What are we playing? Oh, I'm going back and play this the same deck. As for hero. We just saw a long match with Esper Hero. I'm gonna I'm just gonna re respin. We just saw a long match with Esper Hero. Good get some new decks. Okay, there we go. That's a new deck. Demir Affinity Forge. Yeah. Yeah, Vitalius, that's what I yeah, I could tell you just played my Esper Hero deck and I need to add Freakons to the wheel. <laughs> Alright, so Demir Affinity Forge. It's a Mystic Forge deck. It looks like this. It's pretty sweet. I'm trying to play a lot of colorless a lot of colorless cards with Mystic Forge. Okay, awesome. Thank you, thank you, Duel. That's my gamer tag. If you didn't have it, all right. Yeah, just make sure to change your change it to best of three. Don't change anything else. Just change this line to say best of three. <laughs> okay, here's my colorless cards. There you go, sweet leaf. I like it. Nice cheering. Yeah, I guess it's just dual with two two L's. I was thinking it was dual one oh eight, but it's 
two L's. All right, so looking for these gill globes and golden eggs to hit my land drops. Ooh, Charming Prince. I like that card. Scratu. Scry too many. Two on top. Go get him, Serpent. Be a good blocker for me. So I'm going with the Serpent this turn because next turn I'll I'll have five mana. Like well, like next turn I can play Lantern plus Golden Egg back to back. So like just this just kind of sitting here as a blocker. Davriel. Wow. Davriel, good. Ugh, I had to discard that serpent. I like serpent. So I'm basically just discarding whatever card we draw off the golden egg here. Ugh, it's Mystic Forge. <clears throat> that hurts. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. And I just hope I draw land. Wow, I did. Whoa, Tezzer has an animation when it returns something? I don't know if we really noticed that before. Secrets manifest before you. Hey priestess. Doing good? <laughs> Boo. Planar Cleansing. That is a card my deck is not good against. Okay, got the first one. Tezzeret's passive um, gives your creature and Planeswalker spells affinity for artifacts. So all of your creatures and Planeswalkers, as you can see there in the middle of the screen, cost one less to cast for each artifact you control. So if you have six artifacts in play, then Ugin is free. If you have five, Golos is free. If you have two, Steel Overseer is free. Play. If you have four, Karn is free. And so on. Looks like just a lot of removal over here. Um, I don't think I'm going to change anything. I could see taking out Ritual of Soot. Maybe we take out one Ritual of Soot for a Citadel. Or maybe Negates. Actually, let's bring in Negates. Let's cut Citadel. Let's cut Soot. Let's just play Negates. I 
I love to mirror color, so for Christmas, my friend got a plaque with Drowned Catacomb, Vras's Contempt, Thief of Sanity, and Thought Erasure. Definitely the most thoughtful gift I got for Christmas. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. Good, we get more mana. What's the hasty wall? Guarding so many cards. Oh, uh, it's a defender that taps to give haste. We're not usually about attacking. That was just kind of like a, a weird game there that we were about attacking, honestly. But we're not usually about attacking. It's not usually what we're doing. Golos with the ramp. Golos with the ramp. Getting Fable Passage, because that, that's just another card to take a land out of the deck for the Citadel. This is Lone Digger by Caravan Palace. Yeah, yeah, we've had Citadel and um, Forge at the same time with the deck before. That's a great Spyglass. That punishes me really hard for getting Fable Passage. Um, I do have another Golos to go get another land, but yeah, they can name Fable Passage, and then I don't get the Black Source. Yeah, that's, that's a good Spyglass. Hmm. All right, still ended up getting there. Boo. 
Boo. Keeps killing all my stuff. this first. Let's get another beacon. So Emery can cast Artifact cards. So right now, Mystic Forge and Stone Coil Serpent are the two Artifact cards in my graveyard. Right now. I can crack Golden Egg and then replay Golden Egg. You know, like I can gain the three life, replay it, that kind of stuff. Alright, well, I'm about to have an amazing turn next turn. Courtesy of Ugin, the ineffable. We're about to have a crazy turn as long as they don't have removal for Ugin. Man, my shoulder has really been hurting today. It's just sore. Stay alive. Oh man. I like all these cards. I guess lantern. Don't kill my U again. Ooh, they didn't kill Lugan. Got a negate back up now. Get this thing out here. Get this thing out here. Um... I guess I should hold up negate. Yeah, I guess I just hold up negate. I. I mean, I could still cast this for free though. We'll just cast this for free instead of instead of cracking golden egg and re replaying golden egg. We'll just cast this for two. And now I got negate up still. Yet all all my colorless cards cost two less because of Ugin. So all those cards cost 
two originally. They all cost two less. Oh no. No. That flicker is the Charming Prince. Charming Prince kills my Ugin. Oh, bad. Bad Kai's Wrath. Yeah, Tezzy heals me. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're we're gonna win this. Karn's free now. You ready for this? Because Tezzeret gives our creatures and artifacts affinity. You ready for still awesome turns? So Karn's free. Um, we're going to sack this, add a black mana. Oh, wait, that doesn't... Oh no, that that's not actually free. We don't get to actually cast that with Golden Egg. That's not free. Yeah, whatever. My purpose is greater. <clears throat> that was unnecessary. Um, do I want to ramp with Golos or destroy something with Golem? I don't really know what we're destroying here. Do they have anything to get back with? They have Spyglass to get back, so I don't really want to kill Cavalier of Dawn. So we just kill that thing, I guess. Zap. <laughs> this is just the beginning. I was hoping they were going to block Stone Coral Serpent, at least one of them, so that I, I could... I wanted them to kill a Stone Coral Serpent so I could replay it and make it just absolutely huge for, for free because of Tezzeret. No! My Tezzy. Alright, let's make our creatures big. So I don't want to draw this Interplanar Beacon, so we'll exile it upkeep. Ugh, I don't want to draw that either. Ugh, I don't want that to be there either. Um, Let's activate Golos. We haven't done that yet. Activating Golos is cool. get to do anything with this stone coil serpent it just dies awaken awaken Cause I don't have I don't have uh, Ugin or um, Tezzeret to to make it cost less, but it's just because it was exiled off of Golo, so it's just something we could play for free. These Stone Coil Serpents just kill them though.
You ever put plus one plus one counters on your guild globes? Cause that's what I'm doing over here. Gotta make this guild globe a five five. Gotta get some counters on that thing. The 911 Golos. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why that was so loud. That's a sweet deck, though. Demir Affinity Forge. That's a sweet deck. No, that was game two. That was game two. Yeah, I don't know why that was so loud. I don't know why that was so loud. Okay, let's see who's going to be up next. Let's get another one in here. <laughs> yeah, we've had a couple of really long matches the last two. GG's there, duel. GG's. Ugh. All right, if you're a subscriber and you want to play up next, type the word battle into the chat. Oh no, Wales isn't a sub anymore. So let's see. <laughs> let's see who's going to be up next. Let's get it started. Have to go quick at night here. MC. Wow. Hillbilly. <laughs> Getting the highlight. MC, you were picked. Are you are you ready? MC rolled the magic eight ball earlier and and asked if if you're gonna play against Todd and the magic eight ball said yes definitely, and then the very next the very next one it picks MC. You can yeah you can play arena or brawl also if you don't have standard. I have or historic sorry you can do historic or brawl I have. Historic and Brawl decks. But how crazy is that? I think MTG bot's rigged. <laughs> and the Magic 8-Ball said, yes, definitely, you're going to play tonight. And then the very next one. Uh, not too much longer. It's like... <laughs> this may be the last game. And then the Magic 8-Ball says no. All right, let's let's let the wheel decide what deck am I playing up next. Boros Aggro. There we go. Get a little bit of a faster deck. MC said, "Okay, BRB." So I'm guessing is firing up Arena. All right. MC, I need your gamer tag. That's my gamer tag. Ah, choose the deck. We're choosing Boros Aggro. Send me that gamer tag, MC. Just you can just click it here, it copies it, copies to your clipboard, and then paste over in chat. And then of course make sure you change yours to best best of three. The third option, just change it to best of three, don't change anything else. Okay, your best of one. Okay, still change it to best of three, but then then I just won't sideboard, and we'll just do three games, and I won't sideboard. Best two out of three games. Yeah.
yeah, I understand the shuffler is different with that. But I think it's easier than than trying to fire up three straight best of ones. Yeah. I, that's that's definitely true. Um, best of one, it it actually generates two hands and gives you the hand with the better land count. Best of three doesn't do that. On a red. Actually, I probably need to just play the giant killer. That's probably what I should have just done. Just turn one giant killer. I was just kind of like already set <clears throat> on playing the temple of Scryumph. But I probably should have just played the giant killer. Oh well, it's too late. <laughs> MC says we will. We will run away with the steamkin, and I'm saying no, you will not. Going with the steam kit needed an intervention. Hey, Hawkeye. Hey, how have you been today? I'm gonna come up here, I'll stream. You still have a runny nose? Kind of sound snotty. And <laughs> no, it doesn't, USS. Oh. Knocking the mic over. You want to get some pets. I definitely want some pets. Well, M MC said that, that, that they're they're new. Yeah, once upon a time is banned in historic. Or yeah, technically they call it suspended, but really what that means is it's banned. Thanks, Gaming, and Gaming Andy. Thank you. All right, so I'm not sideboarding because they're they're just a best of one deck. 
So no sideboards, even though all those Clarions look nice. We're not bringing them in. Okay. Here he comes. Um. I guess I put the second Tajik back. Oh, I wish I would have put a land back now. He's just headbutting everything. Really wanted to be pet. Are you trying to tell me that you're hungry? Can you tell me you're hungry? Maybe should we go in Hushbringer here? Force them to have removal for Hushbringer because it's a lifelink creature that, that I can then mentor onto with Tajik instead of mentoring onto Robber. Oh, I just noticed that MC just didn't hit a second land drop. That's too bad. Well, at least, at least I'm helping out MC that would have drawn, you know, another 10 Street Dodger and a, and a Tor brand. Don't have to draw those now. What's that? What's that? There's, there's nothing up there. What, what you looking at? I know, it's just one land. Oh man, double Torbrand. I didn't play Tajik here, of course, because I wanted to play Torbrand. Getting all the scratches. All right, yeah, yes, no. So yeah, if if you're somebody on on the Discord channel, you play some limited. Looks like Snow has some questions over in the limited channel. Gonna mentor onto the 10th Street Dodgers so they don't get to Fervent Champion, first strike block it. Alright, let's play one more tonight. That's not a great one to, to end out on. And plus, the Magic 8 Ball a little bit ago did say that the, that, that was not going to be our last match of the night. Sorry, MC. Sorry for the, the mana troubles there. So you just got... We're just going to go quick here. So you got like 10 seconds to... If you're a subscriber, to type the word battle into the chat. A lot of other people are in already. So 
it's like five seconds now. Okay. And the winner is Repugnance. Repugnance? I don't see re a Repugnance. Oh, Repugnance is right there. Oh, okay. I see. Not not a streamer. I'm sorry, Repugnance. Or not, not a sub. Hey, bar Barely Legit, you are welcome. Thanks for resubbing there with Twitch Prime. Yud! Sorry, Rankler. <laughs> That's true. You're trying something super janky? All right, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I got. What the wheel is gonna give you? All right, so you're going super jank. All right, do you want to face mono green mid range with super jank? Okay. All right, I'm sending you a challenge. Yud. Accept it. All right, so mono green mid range. This is a deck we just played yesterday on stream. This is a deck that we're using with Yud sleeves. Let's go. <laughs> Super jank equals four noxious grasp, four guys rep. It's just like, it's just Demir control, four ether gust, four noxious grasp. Sphinx of foresight, two of them. With the bug sleeves. Sorry, Moose. Scry three to the top. All right, well, I'm guessing that these two Sphinx, I'm guessing they can beat a Brontodon and a Questing Beast. Hey, Unreal. Getting the Twitch Prime sub in here. Thanks for that support, Unreal. Oh, that's Storm Count 23, I guess that's my going. my flood emote. Flood. That is true. 19 is an odd number. We got the early stream tomorrow though. Because tomorrow Sunday we are we're doing we're starting at one o'clock on Sundays. Yuck. Big. 
to 6x. Six six. Double block. We finally didn't draw land. Oh darn, too big again. I need a voracious Hydra to take down this Sphinx of Foresight. But with all the scries over here, this is probably over. You like the alt art adventure cards? I like, I just like all of my cards kind of looking the same. Myself. So I like them all having like this, you know, like borderless look. Gift of Paradise doesn't work the best with Beanstalk Giants. <clears throat> kind of surprised no Sphinx attack there. So Fave Wishes can get, you know, anything. And we die. That is something. Going wide. So I'm thinning the deck of Growth Chamber Guardians. Ramping. <laughs> there you go, MC. Good. This course isn't getting any better for me.
think Sphinx of Foresight probably should have already killed me. Can explosion for four, or can, sorry, can explosion for nine. Oh, I guess, never mind that the O3 is dead now. So can explosion for seven now, because the the leafkin's dead now. I guess I, I should have just sacked this. Bronson was just dying. I could have just sacked it and blown up a gift of paradise, but it it really doesn't matter. Just a simple attack out explosion wins it. I'm gonna let, let Yud cast something cool. So I think I'm supposed to be playing Ceratops. Don't really like how Bronson matches up against Fey of Wishes and you know that that four four flyer. Thing is we gotta cut a couple of cards. I'm not sure really what I want to cut. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna play the Ceratops. Ceratops is lame. Yeah, they're they're bugged, Supi Sack. Yeah. Play first. I have stuff to do, not just lands. Yeah, bleeding black. This is the the last match of the night, but basically. I guess this this whole thing was written. Yeah, so I guess that's that's how it works. But basically, I do a like a, a giveaway poll type thing between every single match and pick pick a random person.
Fight. I got a lot better hand this time. Yeah, you're welcome. So yeah, so that's that's what I do um, throughout the whole stream. But this is the the last match of the night. So what am I gonna do with this Karn? We'll go grab Meteor Golem if there's fires of invention over there. Stay back. That hurts. I've always wanted to make a really big fireball. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. <laughs> Stomping time. Stand down. Hey, what's up, Shame? Been a year now. Thank you so much there, Shame. I appreciate that. Keeping that sub going for, for a full year. That's that's awesome. Thank you so much. All right, I'm just going with big voracious Hydra. Um, maybe a safer line was just minus kill the Chandra, and then attack for five. I do like the 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 thing that I do like about the plus is that I am threatening the minus five to go grab a Ceratops. Of course, we'd, we don't want to draw another land, but... Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. One more arrow knocked. Some solutions must be built. Oh, yeah, I guess I, yeah, I guess I could have just minus Vivian minus kill both creatures. And then you just I, I didn't really do the math. I mean, it's it's late. You know, we're playing our last game. I was thinking like even just Vivian plus I wasn't sure if that was going to do it. Uh, if, if I would have just Vivian ticked up twice, even. That would have been 11. They had seven. No, that would not have done it. But a Vivian tick up and a Vivian minus, or double Vin Vivian minus. Either of those. Not being on fire problem. I hope I get to attack with the Great Henge, though. See, 
this was all just to have an 11-11 trample Great Henge. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. I love everything from deer to dinosaurs. I mean, how, how often do you see an 11-11 trample Great Henge? You don't get to see that very often, right? So that's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, Karn plus the Great Henge. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, I like it, Hillbilly. You're saying next month team chat's going 12 and 6? I like it. I like it. <laughs> it's all good, MC. Oh, I have not seen I've not put an ember cleave on a great henge. That would be pretty epic. That would be pretty epic, putting an, an Ember Cleave on a Great Henge. Oh, nice, Deft. Yeah, we played this deck yesterday on stream. You can check it out on the YouTube channel. And I've played it a few times. I really like this deck. Um, yesterday we played against lots and lots of Rakdos decks with this. Bright eyes. But yeah, this is this is definitely one of my favorite decks. I like it against the, the food decks, so like Karn shutting down their artifacts. Plus, it just can hit hard also. My heart beats in unison with the wild. Get him. Get out of the way if I were you. <clears throat> All right, is there a wrath? Going this route means if there was a wrath, it, I don't know, one of my lands isn't blown up. Mirror March. Ah, that's what I'm trying to do over here is Mirror March. But the big haste creatures are just too, too much. Gotcha. There's the jank. It's a Mirror March jank. I like it. Yeah. That's that's the thing about the deck. It can just have like those haste games, you know, that it can just do a lot of damage. Um, you know, 
<laughs> GG's there, yeah, GG's. All right, so that's it for our sub battle stream. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the series. Of course, leave those comments over, over there. Hit the like button on the videos. We'll be back normal stream tomorrow. But thank you so much for watching the sub battle streams. Hope you had a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments what your favorite decks were. Um, yeah, let me know what were your favorite decks. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.